Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen how to create a pro Angular project so through the Angular CLF ASE. So now in this video we will see the project structure. So what is the project files, what are the files created and all those things we will see. Before going to that one, what I will try to do is, uh, here I will stop the server and I will try to open the project in the Visual Studio code. You can use any code, a, any editor you can use. You can use Sublime Text, Datum Editor, uh, WebStorm, PHP Storm, anything you can use. So I am using Visual Studio code. Now I will run this server, okay, for the time being. So now it will take some time to open the code. So Visual Studio will take some time to open. Here, here the project has been opened, and here you will be able to see the list of files. When you see here the files, okay. So first one, first one is the end to end. This one, so there is no need for us to about this one. So we will learn about this one afterwards. This is the node modules, as you already know. Node modules. What is the node, what is the use of node modules also? So all the plugins, all the libraries, what are the dependencies required for this Angular project? It will be installed in the node modules. And uh, this one is the source folder. This is the main part of the Angular project. So this is where we will be writing all the code. Okay, so the main main thing to be considered is this one only. And here you will be having list of files. So we will go and check these all the files. And uh, these all things we in the coming videos we will see. These all the files. What are the things? And also here you will be able to see the tsconfig.json. So what is the use of tsconfig.json? Also we have seen. So here it is referencing the tsconfig.app.json spec.json like that. This is the main TS, uh, uh, what we can say tsconfig.json. If you if you want to know more about the, about this tsconfig.json, you can refer to my TypeScript videos. So TypeScript course, if you go there, so you can be able to see uh, all the details present in the configuration of the tsconfig file. You can see, and uh, this is the package.json file. So package.json file here you will be able to see all the Angular packages. These are required for Angular, so here the Angular packages are installed. So RxJS, TS, Lib, Join, RSV, these all things we will be seeing afterwards. And these are all the dev dependencies which are required to in order to run the Angular project. TypeScript, TS, Lint, these all things are required. And now this Angular JSON is the configuration file. We will be seeing these all things. Now here is the uh, here is the main source app. Okay, so in this source app, you will be able to see. This is the app folder okay this is the app folder is nothing but what we can say is in this only we it is uh, this app is the only main folder which is required to where we will be writing the code everything okay assets is nothing but static files where we want to keep environment is nothing but uh, environment so what is the type of environment production or environment uh, these all things we'll be writing development environment or production environment so these are all things we can see uh, index.html so main.ts these are all files are this is the main entry file so these are all the files because style.css is nothing but this is the global css file so if you want to add any global css files or everything you can add it here and these are all something files so for example if you if i open here and if i open localhost 4200 right so if i open 4200 i will be able to see the output here so if i am able to see the output here how i am able to see the output we will see so which file is responsible for showing this output here if you go into the project structure so you will be able to see this is the app comp in the app in the app folder you will be able to see app app.css app.html and app.ts okay so this is the main file which is responsible for the execution if you will see here if you see here this is the file so if i remove this all the code html code and if i write anything div so hi leela if i save this one automatically you, there is no need for us to check this one automatically when you change any file or will this uh, uh, compiler will be compiled same like webpack dev server so it will be compiled now if i go here and if i check here hi leela we got the output hi leela so that means in the app.component.html that is the main entry file for this one so how how come we know that the app dot component dot html is the entry file means so this is the module file so this is the module so our right? here you will be able to see the bootstrap bootstrap is the app component so that means it is representing the 
bootstrap is nothing but the entry component so which is the entry component is that i need to load whenever the, whenever the project starts okay so here we have written that app component is the entry for entry route so that is the reason app component html is loading okay now uh, we can be we can able to change so we so here we cannot uh, there is no uh, we cannot even write only plain html we can also write the dynamic uh, thing also for example if i have hi here i can write the name so okay two mustache type brackets so curly brackets and here you need to uh, mention the variable name so this variable name where from where it will be coming is from the ts file so the logic everything will be written here so you will be able to see this component okay so a grade component this is nothing but in typescript notation it's a decorators okay so in this decorators we will be taking selector app iphone root so here in this app iphone root if you go to the index.html here you will be able to see that app iphone root okay this is the selector and here if you go here app component.ts so template here what is the template we need to load here we are getting so now what i can do is here i can remove this one name is equal to i can dynamically mention name is equal to lila here okay if i mention name is equal to lila here automatically what it will do is the name thing so whichever the name variable is, is, is there so it will read in the corresponding coding file coding to app component.ts okay so then lila will be replaced there so if i go here and if i refresh so i'll get the same output okay so in this way we will be able to write the code so this is the first way first first approach how we can edit the code okay so this is the selector so now if you go and if you do the control u if you type if you see the control u and if you see the output so there is no output you will be see you will be able to see there is no output you are not able to see that high lila and all those things also you are not able to it is not able to visible why because you are having just only app iphone root is there where from where this one is coming is this one is coming from the index.html you see here this is the entry file okay here app iphone root is there right so this app iphone root is nothing but what way where it is there in this app component ts okay so you can load this component using this app iphone root component name okay whenever you use this app iphone root like like this component name in the html automatically this component will be loaded and this ts file will be read so this template url template your lab component.html will be loaded that combination will be having this text this code okay in this way so this is the first entry path for the angular so in the coming videos we will see how we can uh, uh, see about the about the components and all those things in the deep we will see one by one topics we will see here so this is the project structure of the angular we will go through each and every uh, files whatever the things we will be having in the coming videos just it's the main thing you need to remember that so index.html it will go to app module.ts so app module.ts it, it can check the bootstrap thing and here this is the app component ds and app component.html is the main thing okay so this is the about the angular project structure so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you